Hello students, in our previous video, we learnt about the force that is produced when conductor carrying current is placed in the magnetic field. Have you ever thought students, that can we use this principle for our benefit or not? Yes, there are various devices that use this principle. For example, devices that use current carrying conductors and magnetic fields include electric motor, electric generator, loudspeakers, microphones, and measuring instruments. In this section, let us study about electric motor. On a hot sweaty day, all it takes to reduce the heat is to switch on the fan. Cool air fills the room. But can you explain the physics behind the rotation of a fan blades? The physics behind the fan is the conversion of electrical energy into mechanical energy by using the principle of the magnetic effect of electricity. This converted mechanical energy is used to rotate the blades of the fan. This conversion of electric energy to mechanical energy is achieved by the electric motor. The electric motor finds many practical appliances in our daily life. It is used in appliances such as fan, refrigerators, washing machines and food processors. So let us explore how the electric motor works. An electric motor is a rotating device that converts electric energy to mechanical energy. If you place a current carrying coil in a magnetic field, the field will exert a mechanical force on the coil. This force causes the coil to spin. Thus, conversion of electric energy into mechanical energy happens. This is the principle of the electric motor. But how can this principle lead to the rotation of fan blade? To understand how the fan blade rotates, we need to understand the parts of the electric motor and how these parts function to make the blades rotate. The electric motor is constructed to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and mechanical energy into rotational motion. The motor consists of a rectangular coil ABCD of an insulated copper wire that is placed between the poles of a magnet. The two ends of the coil are connected to the two half rings P and Q. These rings are called as split rings as it split apart from the center into two parts. It is also known as commutator. The split ring in the electric motor reverses the direction of current flowing through the coil after every half rotation of the coil. The inner sides of the rings are insulated and attached to an axle. The rings are free to rotate when the coil rotates. The carbon strips X and Y are used as conducting brushes and are fixed to the base of the motor. A battery is connected to the circuit to supply the current. Now let us see the working of the electric motor. The two arms AB and CD are perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. When a current is passed through the coil ABCD, current enters from the source battery to conducting brush X and half ring P and flows back to the battery through half ring Q and brush Y. The current flows from A to B in arm AB and then from C to D in arm CD. That is, the current flows in opposite direction in the two arms. Let us apply Fleming's left hand rule to find out the direction of force acting on the arms of the coil and its movement. The current flows from A to B, so the force acting on AB is downwards. Then the current flows from C to D, so the force acting on CD is upwards. Thus the coil and the axle rotate anti-clockwise. At half rotation, the coil reaches the vertical position and brushes X and Y are on the gaps between two half rings. The coil continues rotating and Q makes contact with brush X and P with brush Y. The current now flows from D to C and the force acting on CD is downwards. On the other side of the coil, the current flows from B to A and the force acting on AB is upwards. Thus, when the flow of current is reversed, the direction of force is also reversed. 
Can you recall how is the direction of current reversed? Yes, you are right, with the help of split rings. This process is repeated and the coil keeps on rotating continuously. This rotation of coil keeps the fan blades rotating when the fan is switched on. So students, we have learned that an electric motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. And this principle is used in various electrical instruments like fans, refrigerators, washing machines, AC, etc. Students, here we saw that a coil moving between poles of a stationary magnets produce a force which is used to produce mechanical rotation. Can you think of a situation where magnets are moved? keeping the coil steady to produce electric current? Don't worry, we will see this in our next video.